Well, when I first read the book, it seemed like uh, about a group of girls who were out in the big market. It, the, the characters are so recognisable, and although it's it's a Scottish novel and it's written about uh, a, a small town in Scotland, that the the, the people in it are are, are are so reminiscent of people in in, in Newcastle and the North East. And I think it's because of their sense of humour. Um, it's really, really recognisable uh, as a as a northern sense of humour. So um, it felt it, it felt that it could have been written about um, a, a group of girls in Newcastle. It just happened to be uh, this uh, group in, in Oban from in Scotland. Um, so, and and it also felt very much like uh, a live theatre play. I, I mean, it. The book was written around the time I wrote um, Cooking with Elvis, and it's very similar in its sort of its um, its humour. It's using music, um, and also it's a it, it's a bit filthy as well. I mean, uh, in, in a very funny and uh, enjoyable way, um, and it's um, uh, although they, these these group of girls they go on a choir competition to Edinburgh from their small town and they go wild and they drink too much and they get in lots of trouble but it's a really sort of heartwarming thing about what it is to be young and hungry and alive for experience and so although it's it's a roller coaster and it's um it's got lots of uh, sort of bits that you draw drops about what they get up to it's also a very human touching story um, and um, and I, I know audiences here it's just it's it's so in a continuum of my work that it, um, it makes complete sense even though it's got Scottish characters it's it's very much a, a live theatre play the the great thing for me about the show or the opportunity of adapting this specific novel was to use the music because the girls are in a choir. So I've been able to use a lot of absolutely beautiful classical music that, you know, not many people be familiar with, but are, is sort of, you know, it's really, uh, really moving and uh, incredibly affecting music. But also the girls have their own band and they do cover versions of what's really from their dad's record collection. They, they sort of reappropriate um, 70s rock music in their own way in their own voice and um, uh, so the show is sort of packed with with music it's got this beautiful classical music as well as this their own band and the group of actresses are all sublime singers and there's also a, a small band of young women who are, are accompany the the whole show so it's as much of a gig it's not a musical as such but it's it's more like a gig uh, or a stand-up show with these great songs in it um, and also it's mainly based on it's an all-woman cast and six young women who who play all the characters so they play all of the kind of lecherous drunken middle-aged blokes who hit on them during the day and so you see the world from this fantastic vantage point of, of these sort of 17 year old girls who are, um, and, and so you, you get a real feel for what it's like and you get a sort of unique vision of the world from their point of view. Um, and um, I, I, I think it's, it should be as moving as it's funny and certainly it'll be a good night out because the music is great and the musician who I've been working with is a guy called Martin Lowe and he's just, he just won a, a, a Tony Award and, and an Olivia Award for Once the Musical. Um, uh, and so he's, uh, he's the best that there is. So we've got a fantastic team of people.